we've had a lot of opportunities to sit down and uh, and uh, basically uh, build him to where that confidence. Uh, he's got to learn to make plays other places besides running with the football. Um, you know, being on scout teams, special teams, anything. You know, that's what helped Curtis. Curtis, you know, had the same issue happen to him, but the difference was Curtis turned around and made a big play on special teams without the football, and 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 again, that's and then gained his confidence and uh, and went on and had a good rushing game at the end of the uh, Syracuse game. That's what we need to find for him. You know, the great ones I've, I've explained to him, the great ones I've been around. It didn't matter if they were stacking cups. It didn't matter if they were scout teams. They always left an impression. Wow! Look at them compete, and that's part of growing. That's part of maturation and maturity. Some get it, some don't, uh, and, and some have to grow within that. And right now, he's in the growing process. Lane talked about the other day how, when you get in this situation, it's it's tough because you're sort of stuck waiting for somebody else to screw up. Yeah, I, I disagree. I, you know, he's our head coach. I mean, yeah, that's. That's one way of looking at it. I kind of look at it another way. You got to make plays. And if, if, if uh, you know, I, you know, the young young guy that we had here, we, Reggie was the same. You know, we were afraid to, as a freshman to put him out there. But you got to build the confidence. And Alan Bradford was the same way his senior year. Uh, having that room and, and, and building his confidence, making plays. Some of remember, Alan went over and rushed the punter. Alan went over and, and covered kicks and, and kept stayed within the game. And, and made plays because it, it does. It shouldn't matter if you have the ball, you don't. You should, it's what it, it's being on the field and making plays without the ball. That's what the mentality of that running back group has to understand. Maurice Drew was a kickoff return guy for me in Jacksonville. I want to pull him out. He's like, no way, coach. This is an opportunity for me to help my teammates. Uh, Greg Jones was a, a fullback. He's on punt coverage. Uh, guys, guys that won Troy. Troy here was our All-American safety. He's covering kicks. He's rushing the punter, making plays without it. And uh, that's what I believe he has to do. And, uh, and and if he's on scout team covering kickoff, I want him to be the first guy down. You know, if he's returned to give him a look to somebody, kick that dude's butt. That's how you get back. How has Amir Carlisle fared this week? And speaking of Amir Carlisle, <laughs> that's what he does. And he's fared well. And you watch the scout team in those blue shirts they have, he's the first one down. I don't have, he doesn't need the ball to make plays. And that's why his confidence and confidence and going, and that's why, you know, the coaching staff and the players, they see that. Lane, you know, said there's a chance he could play this week. Do you agree? Do you see him oh, having a role? It, do you know what's great about that young man? Every week, even with the high ankle sprain, he prepared like he was going to start. 